Grasping objects of various geometry and material properties has been and still is a lasting and difficult challenge for robotics manipulators. In this video, we will present you a brand new soft robotic finger capable of changing its stiffness by modifying its kinematic structure. The finger proposed has a very simple architecture composed of three rigid links at the front and back connected by flexure represented by revolute links on these pictures. By adding an internal crossbeam like the Ferrari Festo fingers, a kinematic configuration is made to increase the stiffness of the finger. To easily switch from one mode to another, we propose to use a snap pin join. This technique, widely used in industrial applications, is rarely explicitly considered as a design solution in robotics, but it's a good way as a disengageable joint solution. Now, let us look at the grasp comparison between the two stiffness modes. In this first case, the finger is in low stiffness mode. The deformation and the wrap are important. The deformed position of the finger is raised for a support force of 10 newtons at the center of the front face of the finger. In this second case, the finger is in high stiffness mode. The deformation and the wrap are less important than before. This can be clearly seen by overlaying the shape of the two deformations. Let's now look at how to characterize this difference in deformation. To do this, the finger was placed on a test bench to simulate the grip of a cylindrical object. The forces and displacement were recorded to calculate the stiffness of the finger in the two modes. The stiffness ratio achieved between the two stiffness modes was close to 4. Afterwards, experiments on the Baxter robot were conducted. The assembly of the finger on the gripper of the robot is represented on this animation. This gripper was then tested in low stiffness mode on all sorts of different objects from the 2016 Amazon Peking Challenge. For all the previous objects, the grip was successful with the finger in low stiffness mode. Now, let us see how the gripper behaves with a heavy object, for example with soft bars. In low stiffness mode, the grip filed. Now, let's try with high stiffness mode. In high stiffness mode, the grip is successful. To have a versatile gripper that can easily switch from one mode to another, the finger and adapters have been designed accordingly. In this first case, let's see how the switch to the high stiffness mode is done. The fingertip is pinched by the gripper linked to the other arm, allowing the crossbeam to be clipped on and thus stiffening the finger. Now, let's see how the switch to the low stiffness mode is achieved. A finger of the gripper linked to the other arm is inserted between the front links and the cross beam, then a rotating motion of the gripper pull on the snap fit joint and disengage it from the phalanx it was attached to. Finally, the difference between the two stiffness modes is clearly visible in the case of fragile product. For example, with a broccoli flower, the squeezing is reduced by 27% with the low stiffness mode compared to the high stiffness mode. 
Thanks for watching this video.